The technique of wet felting has been practiced for thousands of years. Based on archaeological findings, it began soon after people started to keep sheep to grow wool. The process of wet felting is lots of fun and very user friendly. It only requires water, soap, wool, and something to whirl it in. The composition for wool painting can be sketched ahead of time, but it's also fun to be spontaneous and just respond to the texture and color of the wool. We're going to start by making layers. On the bottom is a piece of regular bubble wrap. These little bubbles will help agitate the wool and cause the wool fibers to stick together. My finished piece will be about six by six, so I'm going to pull my skein of wool in half. You'll have to place your hands away from the center in order for it to separate. The first layer of wool is pulled apart and laid down vertically. The second layer will be laid at a right angle to the first, so it will go on horizontally. Any combination of colors can be used for these layers. The third and final layer is where the painting comes in. Any imagery can be formed with the wool. I'm going to make a nest, so I want the inside of the nest to be in shadow. Next, I'm going to add some eggs. I'll just form the wool into an egg shape and place it into the nest. All kinds of materials can be added to the felting. You can use raffia, colored sawdust, feathers, and iridescent film. Things like yarn or string could be added too. When you're done, place a very thin layer of wool on top of your composition to help keep everything in place. Then top it with a piece of plastic canvas. I'm going to lightly mist the layers with water. Pat down the wool and when it feels just damp, rub it with some soap. Using a circular motion, rub over the top of the plastic canvas and be sure to cover all areas. Wool fibers are barbed, so when they're agitated like this, they mat or felt together. The soap is alkaline and that also helps to tangle the wool. Now the wool is transferred to a piece of stitchery canvas and rolled up tightly. It will help if there's an old towel to place underneath to prevent sliding. Roll it back and forth for about a minute and then take it out and turn it 90 degrees. Repeat this step a total of three times. Finally, rinse the soap out of the felt and lie flat to dry. For detailed instructions, a materials list, and the national standards for visual arts, please visit dickblick.com.